All right, I'm going in cold on this one. I've never even thought about working on one of these before. But all I'm going to do is I'm gonna take you through speed adjustment on a Bang & Olufsen B Accord. B, B Accord? B Accord, yeah. I'm gonna show you how I do my tape, my uh, cassette deck calibration. A couple of ways I can do it, or a couple of ways you can do it. I can run a test tone through a stereo. I can connect a scope to it, but I like easy, and not everyone is going to have a scope. So I have this calibration cassette. I've actually also made calibration cassettes for my own gear using my own cassette decks that are very close to this um, uh, at speed wise. So, so in a pinch, I could always use mine. I actually lost one of these that flew off the back of my car. So what I want to show you is how I test first. So, oh, I don't have my phone. Let me go grab it. So I have an app on my phone called Sound Spectrum Analysis, and we'll see it. I'm gonna to try to do this so you can see what's going on here. So this tape is a three kilohertz tone, and I have uh, the headphones connected to the tape deck. Now what I do using the my iPhone mic is, I'm gonna position this like so, so it'll pick up the sound Right, it'll pick up the sound from the headphones. I'm gonna press, oh, we gotta plug it in first. I'm gonna press play. All right, it's running. Stella's barking. So I'm gonna hit the play button. And you'll see where it picks up, right? Not sure if you can see that real clearly, but it's picking up that three kilohertz tone. Now that three kilohertz tone should be 3000 hertz that's at about 3,100, so it's slightly off. So what I'm going to have to do is figure out, which I have no idea how to do it, figure out how to adjust the speed on this B accord. And then I'll come back, and assuming it's the same process as with any cassette deck, there should be either an adjustment pot or a spot on the motor where I can adjust the speed. I'm gonna to have to go get Stella. She wants to bark now, so go figure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go take care of the dog. I'll come back, I'm gonna spin this around. I think there are a couple of screws back here that I saw earlier. I think, well, you know, well, she's quiet now, so let me see if my suspicion is correct. I think removing these screws will allow me to kind of flip the top, either take it off or flip it up. There are no screws on the front, so I'm thinking, yeah, I think the top just kind of comes off. Now what I don't know is, if I can do what I think I can do with this cover off. So there goes the cover. And again, never worked on one of these before have no idea what I'm doing. So we have a motor. So on a lot of like Pioneer F uh, CTF 500s, here's the motor. There's a little tiny opening here. I'm assuming this is the motor that controls the speed. But I believe Usually there's a screw in there and then you turn, you adjust the screw. Yeah, there's a screw in there, so it'll adjust the speed. So, what I think I can do, what I hope I can do, I may have to use some different, I may have to use earbuds instead of my headphones. Oh no, I guess I can do it. So what I'll do is I'll try to position the headphones. And I've already moved it, so I may have I may have sped it up or slowed it down, I don't know. But I'm gonna slide this out of the out of the frame here a little bit. And get this back in position. And put the tape back in. And first I want to see if I can get it to play. And I have power, so 
So that's good. Let me press play. And it's playing. And I can hear the tone. So let me get my sound spectrum analyzer spun up again here. Hit start. So it's listening right now. Hit play. And it is slightly slower than where it was before. So I believe. Trying to find the adjustment. I think I got it in there. Let's see. Hmm. Sometimes it's hard to, to get into the pot. I think that's it. That might, it may not be it. Or the screwdriver. This is a pretty big screwdriver. So let me let me poke around. I'm gonna see if I can look in there. Let me turn this off real quick. Wind. And again, this may not be it. It could be there are two there are two um, variable resistors there. There are a couple of there. They're not marked. A lot of times on cassette decks, it'll say speed or fast or slow. Um, what I want to see is, and I'm going to have to. This. I don't know that I can really do this easily, but I want to see what's in here first. And this rubber is really, well, I think I see a, yeah, I think I see an adjustment pot. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't in the adjustment pot. So now that's in there. Let's press play. Oh, let's plug it in. Press play. Let's rewind this. And this uh, calibration cassette runs only for a few minutes. So. So I'm in there, and I'm going to show you. So see how it's, see how the wave is moving up and down. So here's where it was. It was right about here in the middle. So I can turn that pot down, and I like to set it just a little bit fast. Although this is showing me exactly. 3,000. I like to set it just a hair fast. And the reason why I do that is to my ears, that's what it sounds like. So I'm setting for like 3,010 or 3,005. And that just sounds better to me. It's definitely going to sound closer than it did at 3,100, which is about where it was. So, but if I wanted to dial it in exactly to 3,000, I would dial it in exactly to 3,000. So, Again, I'm not doing anything else to this. Um, if I were going to replace the belt, oops, the, the belt is still moving. I, thought I shocked myself. That belt feels good. That belt's real tight. Yeah. I mean, it, it, could, it probably could use a belt change, but that's not what I'm being asked to do. I'm being asked to adjust the speed, which I have done. So now the next thing to do is to put it back together and then test it, which I will do. But that was it for calibrating the speed or adjusting the speed on a Bang & Olufsen Beacord. Again, I am not doing anything else with this. This was all I had planned for this uh, tape deck and it will go back to the owner. Unless they want me to do belts. I'll talk to them about it, but I think they just wanted the speed dialed in. So anyway, as always, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.